Hello from Chi Nation Channel. This is DC Fu from Tina Dragons YouTube channel. Now, if you are new to this and you like my talism, talis magic, that kind of talk show, remember to check out my primary channel on this topic, Tina Dragon on YouTube channel. Check out the link below and you will see that link to the channel and my website and such. Okay, so today we'll get into this uh, very interesting topic. Now, I've been trying to stay, um, you know, kind of shallow with the topic because I don't know if people really do like these things and really are patient enough to, you know, listen to these kind of topics. But so far, uh, I think it's doing good. So I, I have uh, some nice uh, positive comments coming in telling me to talk about something a little bit deeper um, that most people will not understand and won't know or even heard of. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about this topic called the Yun Sun. Basically, it's more like, what is real Taoism? Why are Taoists not like this normal people? Okay. So um, basically, as I said in my first video about what is Taoism, uh, Taoism is a religion from the beginning to the end, and basically the word religion in Chinese is not the same as how religion is like in. The other cultures. Now, in a lot of different cultures, you see, religion is all about praying to some god and deities and whatever it is. Okay, some kind of supreme being that they think can save them from suffer and that kind of stuff. Okay, basically, it's the same idea but with different names and stuff like that, like different packaging. Well, that's how religion goes for a lot of cultures because back in the ancient time, people are hopeless and life is hard. So people need some kind of um, like uh, uh, fake stuff to believe. Okay, so it makes it calms the people's mind and basically it's used more like um, a way to push all the stress and all the fear and all that stuff to something that can contain it for them for the time being. It's like you have a place with lots of crap going on, battles and you know, war, whatever, starving, tons of stuff happening that is bad and people have no way to fix it. So uh, someone came up with this little Superman uh, from another world, whatever it is, and uh, make up a lie and basically everyone, uh, they don't even have to think. Because they want to believe that is true, right? They don't even need it to be true. They want it to be true. So they hope that there is someone like that coming over to save them and get them out of this uh, crappy situation. So basically that's how most ancient religion goes in uh, the old days. And then people believe in this uh, whatever god or deity uh, in whatever name and then they think uh, and pray and whatever, hope something will happen. And basically just by doing the practice and the ritual, praying, uh, doing all kinds of stuff to like to worship it and things like that, it numbs the brain of people, okay? So you just don't think of the normal stress and like the, uh, uh, maybe your, your financial stress, uh, maybe like whoever is sick and cannot have the uh, proper treatment and they're supposed to die soon and things like that. Okay, all that stuff. Okay, all the worry, all the stress goes to this practice with the religion or culture or like that. Okay, so they keep praying, praying and think, hope, okay, one day this thing will be over. And by doing that, it just keep people calm, right? People don't think about the bad side and they won't be so fear, uh, having lots of fear about these uh, crappy things that are really going to end their life and destroy their family. But at the end, you know what, um, logic kicks in and people are more educated and know that this is bullshit, this is not going to work and basically you see all the science and technology and things like that kicks in and tell people that this is not real, this is not real, this is not real. Now you want to get your, your, your uh, relative cured, you have to give him proper treatment, medicine and stuff like that and then when people really see that how real like doctors and stuff like that can help them solve these problem, but not their gods and deities and stuff. And people give up their religion. Basically, most of the time people are like that. And these ancient religion are all brewed up for about or alike the same kind of reason, which is people run out of run out of ideas. They run out of solution, and they have to create this fake um, character. To put their mind on in order for them to not feel exploding every day 
right? Or else everyone would just kill themselves because it's just so hard to go through these days. Now, yeah, the doctors and the uh, science and all that stuff is great, but what do you expect these the, these people to do in the woods and stuff like that where they have no doctors, no science, no education, right? It's like saying, you guys in the USA and Canada have a lot of food and entertainment and stuff. Now think about the people in like those third third uh, world country. You know, like, people are so poor they don't they, they don't even have electricity right there. Okay, now think about those people. What do you expect them to do, right? So all day long they sit there and wait to die. It feels very very sad. And basically, people have to come up with these things, and that's what religion is most of the time. But Taoism is not like that because Taoism, or what we say, uh, Taoism, Taoism is basically the same thing. Okay, in Cantonese, it's called Dou Gao. Okay, Dou Gao. So Taoism, Taoism, both doesn't even uh, sound alike. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, there we go. Um, the Cantonese version, Dou Gao. Okay, um, same word, same thing. Okay, it's brewed up by. People who uh, are already not not suffering. Like this is not brewed up because of people suffering and want a fake Superman to pray to. Okay, the main thing how Dou Gao was created is because there are people in the ancient China who are curious about nature and they are okay. They are well off. They are not having any issues yet. Yes, there are wars and stuff go on, but these people who are digging into the art of Dou Gao, okay, Taoism, is not into like oh super poor, uh, starving to death, you know that kind of people. They're not like that, okay, not like in India where people are starving like crazy, having issue and don't even have much clothing. You know, you see India, right? Uh, back then it's really really poor, and but right now, okay, we're talking about. China, China is pretty good with their wealth and stuff like that. You look at the、um, clothing of how people dress in the Han Dynasty or even before that. Like people are pretty developed, actually. So, like back then, a few thousand years ago, if you look at those、um, uh, the the stuff they use for drinking,、uh, eating, and stuff like that, technology back then is pretty good. They have all kinds of metalware and you know kitchenware is very nice and. Fancy clothing. They have a lot of good stuff, so they are not in the state of like really wanting, you know, that fake little thing to believe in. Now, why is Taoism here? It's all about discovering beyond nature's limitation. Discovering about why the hell are we here? So there you go. That is basically the question about the whole thing. How it started is. How the hell do we end up here, and what happened after we die? Now, of course, you see people die, right? They,、uh, and then you know the body decays, and basically there it goes. Like, oh, okay. But the problem is, people know that the game doesn't end here. Look out there in the forest, and you see the flowers and stuff like that, right? They die, but before they die, they often leave behind something like the seeds or something like that, and maybe some of them even. Come back to life the next next spring. When spring comes, everything come again. Okay, you see the whole forest go wow in the winter, and then after the winter, okay, spring come, bring everyone wow, everything come back again. So there must be a law in nature that you can、uh, dig into and understanding what is actually happened in this whole thing about life. So we、um, know that there is this theory of. Yum and Yang, okay, the Yin and the Yang. Now, in my、uh, other lecture with the green robe, okay, search up the Yin and Yang lecture. I already explained it, okay, but basically, I'm gonna sum it up again today with a very, very quick, quick preview, okay, and we'll get into the main subject today. Don't worry. <laughs> so, this diagram, okay, very simple. What do you see right here? Black and white, okay. Don't get too fancy. Black and white.、Uh, Except for these, okay, black and white, right? Now inside the white world, there is one dot of black. Inside the black world, there's one dot of white. Okay, this completes a complete system, complete、uh, world, complete universe. Okay, basically, you can say、um, the white will 
output, the black absorb, just like light, okay? You just look at the light, the theory of light, okay? White is like the light of the sun or light of anything, okay? Now the light gives off its energy, uh, power, like the heat and stuff like that, right? When you have any material that is black or maybe even like uh, have a tone of black, any kind of color that is not white, it will absorb, okay? So the, if you use black material, Facing the sun, it absorbs the heat much faster than uh, using white or silver or other things like that. Because the black in nature, this will absorb light better. So basically, black and white is uh, two very uh, extreme things. And you can also say one is uh, like the, the uh, black is like a, a solid and the white is non-solid. When the white goes into the black, it absorbs it. <laughs> and then you get it, okay? It's like a container. So black is like empty space. Empty space and then white is something that is already there. It's like a complete form of thing. Um, so basically something completes, okay? Something that is a full form goes into the empty space. It will start to go and use up just like anything in this world, okay? We have a lot of air around us, which is what we call black, okay? Consider black. Now, you take anything and put it in this space and leave it there, don't touch it. After a while, you see the thing cripple down. Age, okay? Air will eat into things and just like that. Now, let's say if we are trying to preserve something, what do you do? You suck out the air. Very fun, right? When you suck out the air, things don't, don't um, uh, deteriorate that fast, right? You get the idea. So, when you don't have as much black in the same space, Okay, this piece of thing, the, the white, okay, the, the thing inside, it's not going to go bad. It's going to be preserved for a longer time. Especially like, okay, when we buy meat, okay, you see uh, there are meat like uh, in a styrofoam uh, box with, with some wrapping, okay. These things don't last very long. Now, when you buy the better meat, okay, they will suck out the air for you. So they are more like bought in a uh, plastic uh, thingy wrapped, okay. Uh, they have a machine that goes and suck out all the air. Now this piece of meat will last much longer when frozen and all that stuff. But given like the same same uh, kind of meat, okay, similar meat, both frozen, the one without air is going to last longer because basically there's not much black element inside to absorb and deteriorate that stuff. White is not only the color white, it is the... Um, property of white just like light okay anything that is containing everything of whatever okay like white light contains every color that you need okay if you take white light and put it over that pyramid thingy okay in science you see the rainbow right every color is inside there you can find all the colors inside white because white contains everything very simple right now if you have anything that is completed just like seeing uh, a completed product from a country, uh, sorry, not country, from a company, okay? A phone, uh, a computer, a coffee machine, anything, okay? Now you take this complete product and you transfer it to a black, which is somewhere that doesn't have this thing, okay? Now, let's say you put a phone and give it to someone who don't have a phone. Now the person will start to use it up. Very simple, right? And as he use it more and more and more, this phone will deteriorate until the point that all the white is gone, meaning that like all the stuff inside the phone is gone. Battery and all that stuff all died out, okay? Then what happened? Then the next cycle continued. Because now this guy uh, used the phone a lot and liked it and so on, okay? So now he will become uh, the, the, the white, like uh, from black to white because he's now Oh, I, I just used the phone, uh, all the battery is dead. Now I have so many things to say. I have everything uh, of this experience. Now I can go around and tell people who ha don't have this phone and I will say and do and perform and do all the stuff to tell people how good the phone is. Yeah? See, now the user become the white. The other people who didn't use the phone is the black. Now he go and mix with the other party and Basically, he keep when he feel that he spoke, he have spoken enough about how good this phone is. He will stop saying about, uh, about the phone. Instantly, he will stop talking about it because he's done. He's he he spoke enough. All the energy inside is released. Okay, that's how much he liked the phone. 
Okay, he spoke to 10 people. Done. That's how much he liked the phone. If he don't really like it, he won't tell anyone. You see? So um, basically, that's how it works in nature, okay? But how does this have to do with the yun, the sun, that we're talking about? Well, think about it. Everything in a in a full, complete universe have two sides, which is completely opposite, like the, the Tai Chi diagram, okay? Now, in this world that we can communicate face-to-face, -face, the physical world, okay? We say physical world because we can touch each other from the outside, okay? We can touch from the outside. Now, in this world, okay, you are playing the role of a human being or a living being, okay, a living being. You are a physical living being inside a <coughs> planet, okay? Now, you and many others living beings are inside this planet, right? Now, outside the planet, there are all kinds of planets around, okay? Done. Next, what is the other side of the universe like? Now, Talism does not only analyze this little world that you can see, because there is also another part of the universe that you cannot see, just like in your whole life. I mean, ask anyone, okay? How many people can say, I have looked at my own lungs? I have looked at my own intestine, you know? I just checked it last night. Come on, it's so clean. Look at that. I just looked at my spleen. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay? No one can see their organ. Even that they, they will die, okay? They will not even be able to see their organ. You will not do that, okay? Like yourself, you cannot... Let me pull out my tongue and like, take a look. You cannot, right? This is not possible. Same to what I'm trying to say, okay? In this world, everyone have a physical body and you also have what I call a spiritual body in English, okay? Non-physical body. That you cannot see, okay? You cannot see it. Because it's that's just like your organ. It's inside you, you cannot see it. Now, at the same time, okay, we are bunch of living beings living inside the planet okay solid in the other world it's a non-solid world it's a spiritual world and you are then playing the role of a planet with many living beings inside you totally reverse you see okay again <laughs> let me try this again okay now you are in a physical world okay you are a living being with a bunch of living being living inside a planet. The other side, okay, you are a planet with tons of living beings living inside you. <laughs> Very cool, right? Now in here, okay, we touch things from the outside. Okay, from the outside. You see, we touch everything outside of our body, right? From the outside. Now in that place, okay, you are the planet. So you touch things from the inside. Just like our planet can touch us from the top to bottom to go inside the planet right you you can do that because that's how the sky works okay the sky will thunder the lightning and then rain everything is from the outside and going back inside different right flip that is the real deal about what talism is about it's, it is a extreme opposite binary parallel whatever you want to call it that kind of theory about what life is about now because of this foundation it's not enough because this is just a guess it's like a hypothesis okay now in order to go to really find out are we really a planet in the other side now that is something more serious more like much more advanced and the normal people cannot really understand it because you cannot see it you cannot feel you cannot Okay? One day in the ancient time, okay? Someone tells you, you have this thing called a heart inside your body. And this heart is going to go like that inside, okay? How do you believe it? No one cut open anyone and, and take a look at their inside. Basically, people die and they get burned off or buried. No one will really be able to and cut open and take a look at the inside. It's so ugly inside, right? But... I mean, if you tell people you have a heart inside, people don't understand because you never see it. But do we only understand things when you see it? You don't. There's a lot of things that you understand without seeing because there are theories, 
logical stuff, okay, patterns, and also things that make sense to you, then you will believe because basically things make sense. And is it really important for you to see something visit, visually in order to believe that it's real? Uh, not really. Just like saying, okay, you know what, this thing is hot. I cannot see it. Well, you can go near it and you feel the heat from it. You know it's hot, right? You can touch it and get burned. You don't need to see it, right? Sometimes you can be blind and you know a lot of things it, because you can feel. You can feel with your eyes, uh, your 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 skin, your hair, your hearing, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, you can you can feel, right? Sense, and also by cultivating in talisman using what we call talisman magic. Okay, you can witness how this thing works and how like there in the more advanced stage you can actually visually, um, spiritually visually, okay, be able to see your own little spiritual planet body, okay, which is what we call the Yun Sun. Now, this is something hard to explain in short, but I will be able to tell you what it is and how that thing works with our, our body right here, okay. So this is called the Yun Sun. Okay, Yun Sun. Now, this Yun right here is the word for Yun So. It's like Yun So, uh, ingredients, okay? Like raw materials, that kind of stuff, like resources. This is the word for Sun. A lot of people don't understand the word Sun and they think the Sun is like um, a God, okay? Like God, oh, like some kind of stuff like that. No, it's not, okay? This word, the word Sun, is just like the word for Sun, like extension. But sun, like this, to extend is to use um, uh, is to use a resource or something, okay, to go like that and do it, okay. The other one is different. The other one is done invisibly, okay, with your energy, with the with the uh, intention, with invisible energy, okay, and you reach and touch. That is sun. Okay, now let me uh, explain in short, okay. Sun, this word you need to understand. It's whenever something exposed the power uh, that is out of the limitation of its own, like of something, then that is the, uh, the sun, okay? For example, um, let's say a candle, okay? A candle itself was made, okay? You didn't light it up yet, right? Now there's no sun coming out of it because the candle is not lit up. There's no n nothing, right? Now what can the candle do? The candle can move around like this, place like that, okay? Nothing will happen. There's no fire coming out of it, right? When you light the candle, it creates something that is out of its body, which is the light and heat and all that stuff. Now, that is the sun, okay? The sun, like the sun, like the sun, sun power, sun uh, energy of this thing is that flame coming out of it, okay? And basically, this thing can influence the outside uh, things outside of it because it's giving off that energy out of its uh, limitation like usually you want this candle to, uh, to to affect other things you need to rub it touch it and stuff like that but now you don't because when the flame is burning there are energy giving off away from the flame right that is the Sun now when you see the flashlight for example okay the, the light ding, come out of it that is the Sun the brightness is the Sun of the flashlight when you see the light dims down you say oh the energy is dying the battery is dying then the Sun is also lowering that's what you say okay so Yun Sun it's the it's the resources uh, where the resources of life goes and these resources will beam to you every day so every day you get resources of life, like something that keeps your HP bar, okay, the life bar going. Imagine yourself as like a, a robot. You have a little battery inside yourself, okay? Every day this battery gets charged. And when you charge the battery, then you get uh, some more energy to keep going. And the next morning, you can keep doing other things and feel like energized, okay? Like the bunny, energizer bunny, <laughs> okay? So that's basically how it works. Now, most people don't understand this Yun Sun theory, and I'm going to explain the cycle right here. 
So it have to it, it has something to do with your daily cycle. Okay. Now your day right here. Okay. You have to look at this uh, as a cycle, like yin and yang, like that. Okay. Cycle. So one cycle of your life is to live here. Okay. And you will be um, you will be basically getting stuff from here okay you'll be getting stuff from here and putting them into your body okay and during the time you put stuff into your body okay you will process it through this body and then you push it out right after you push out what you don't need the stuff that you need is actually not needed by this body only okay because imagine you don't sleep and you keep just eating new food, keep eating all kinds of nutrition and uh, supplement and all that stuff. It, you're not gonna stay like a, a real person. You're gonna like be a zombie, right? Now we all need to sleep. Why? Because when we sleep, that is a time when all these resources that we gather from this world, okay, is done processing inside our body, and we push out the stuff that we don't want, which is the shit and the pee. And then the energy inside, okay, stays inside. Partial of it, your body absorb it. Partial of it will be pushed to the other side of you when you sleep. When you sleep, okay, your body stays still. When you stay still, the two worlds between the, the, the two worlds, your physical and the non-physical world, they snap together like magnet, okay? Now, when that happens, the energy that we just took from this world out of the uh, food and all that stuff will combine with the energy of that spiritual side of you. And then, these things will beam to your yun sun, your spiritual planetary body. Now, this spiritual planet body, planetary body also have its own world inside with living beings and such going on but it also have a cycle going on now this thing after it's done with the cycle it will grab a bunch of energy push out like like the planet is pooping okay pooping out that energy now where does it go it goes to you right here the you okay it, it flows to you it goes through your soul which is the, the uh, energy inside yourself, right? It, and it, it gets converted into something you need right here. Something that human being don't need is something that the planet will need. Something the planet don't need is what the human being need. Take a look at this world. We can use our shit and pee to fertilize things in this planet because the planet will need our waste because it's only the waste from us but it's good stuff for the planet, okay? You can put them into the soil and it will grow uh, stuff faster, better, and stuff like that. It's gonna make your fruit much rich, richer, okay? Basically, what we don't need is what the planet needs. Now, the planet does not need all that, like the plant and the fruit and all that stuff while it keep blossoming all that stuff out. So humans are supposed to consume the planet because we're gonna just take the waste of the planet, right? The planet grow all these things. It doesn't need these things because it grows these things out. So we take from the planet and we eat and cycle it through our body because we need that, right? Now, that is a physical game, okay? Now the non-physical game is the energy inside yourself. So your waste, the non-physical waste is good for your spiritual planet. Now the, the spiritual planet does not need its waste too. So it will dump all that stuff to you. And then through the uh, your internal energy, which we call the soul, and this these energy go back to your body and charge you up. Now your spiritual body, the local spiritual body, not the yun sun, okay, will take these things and absorb and digest, and basically it just get charged. And the heart energy right here, okay, it's going to get charged up. This is the battery, your fa sum, your energy heart. Some people call it the mind but it's actually not just the mind, okay? The mind is like, usually you feel and stuff, but that is the function of this heart. There are more function inside here, okay? So this energy heart of you hold the charge from the Yun Sun, and the Yun Sun basically give you that, uh, a bunch of energy that you can use to keep going. So basically the Yun Sun gives you the energy that uh, keeps you going the next morning. 
Now the next morning you wake up, you can what? You can start and create things. This is the thing that you get from the Yun Sun, which is the power of creation. Now when we talk about the energy or the power of creation, most people think about like those uh, Western religion where like, oh, I'm going to create the world, you know, I'm going to make a human being. Well, no, no, not like that kind of creation, okay? The energy of creation in Taoism is very simple. Right now, there's no, um, there's no spaghetti. I'm going to cook. Now I created a dish of spaghetti. I have no video on my channel. And now I create a new video on my channel. I create, right? Creation is very easy. You just use something here and, and there goes creation, right? Now, take a look. This is the whiteboard, right? It's like that right now. I'm going to create something right here. So I'm going to like create a little smiley face. There, there goes the creation, okay? But you see, the power of creation is very powerful because with that, you can create many things. Now with more of that, you can create life. How do I create life? Well, very easy. Have sex. <laughs> okay, very easy, right? So basically you see, we can create life. We are very powerful because that very, very much the main thing about this world. We have the power to create. Not only these, but also create life, to create other things. Okay, so you see, this is very cool. With the Yun Sun around, giving you things, you can create things. Now imagine, there are people who can sleep for like, say, uh, 14 hours a day, okay? They sleep a lot. But when they wake up, they still feel like a lazy bum. Now, I sleep not a lot, okay? Usually uh, five hours, six hours sometimes, okay? Even less. But I work a lot. You can see my YouTube channel. I create so many videos, so many blogs, so many things, and I teach my disciples. I do many things. Because why? Because this energy right here is very strong. That is the proof. You can see I'm crazy. I create so many videos, so many different things. Even people are like, how can you create so many things? How could you make so many videos? Well, yeah, that's basically how I am. I can do many things in one day. Because why? Because of this energy. I cultivate this energy. That's why. That's my. That's what my talus magic does, right? I make this thing very strong. With this thing very strong, you also get what? Very confident, okay? You trust yourself. And basically, you can do what you want to do and you can feel your life is very in control. You don't get affected by the outside people, the outside energy flowing around. Because this energy is strong, you can override anything coming your way. Evil magic, sorcery, curses, these are all energy that will go bomb your energy right here. If your energy around you is very weak, you get bombed and Basically, you, this energy get affected and you lose your mind. Basically, it means that you go crazy or you do things like uh, something that is not yourself, okay? So there can be people who get cursed and uh, attacked by evil magic and then they, all of a sudden they want to take a cleaver and chop someone. It's not them, but they cannot control it. Why? Because the mind overrides logic. This heart overrides logic. We always act like that. Like, okay, when you're... Trust me, when you're buying stuff, you're always using your mind first. When you use uh, your eyes to see, you say, oh, I feel good, I feel good. Okay, bye, 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 bye. I feel this, I feel good. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. You don't think so much, okay? You have to train yourself to be a, a, a person who can think before you say, okay, I want this, right? But a baby, naturally, okay, even teenagers, a lot of people don't use the brain when they're trying to buy something. Like the nature of human being is like that. You look, you feel, you want to do it, okay? There's not much control inside, actually. Sometimes when you want to buy something, the feeling here is so strong, you will say, oh, fuck the logic, and then you will just buy it. A lot of times it's like that, right? Especially when it comes to like loving someone, okay? You don't need a reason, right? I love this girl because, well, there's no because, I just love it. <laughs> right? There's no because. When you say more because this, because that, you lose that feeling. Right? Because this is basically what makes you do this and want to do that, want to do that. I feel like this today, I want to do this. I don't have the feeling, everything is gone. Like, when you're trying to do art, right? You're trying to uh, do a picture, uh, you have feel, 
for that, then you can do it. You don't have fear, everything is gone. You can have tons of skills, you can have all kinds of logic, you can have a good plan, but it just cannot come out of you because everything here is not ready, okay? So by practicing talus magic, talisms, that kind of stuff, you are training this thing very, very strong. So you won't be affected by the outside and your life can be very efficient. Uh, you can basically say that you are um, very in control of yourself and making life much more meaningful every day. Now, another thing is, um, now talking about the Yun Sun, okay? How do we make our Yun, yun Sun stronger? Now, even if you're not uh, my disciple, okay? You have to understand your Yun Sun. It's a planet, right? You can say it's not really like a planet, like here, okay, a planet. But it is a planet, as in, if you say it's a metaphor or maybe it's a pattern like that, okay? Imagine it's like a, it is like a planet, okay? Not exactly the one here, but it could be something similar. But now, what is uh, going to make your Yun Sun better? What is the thing that you need to focus on as a normal human being? Let me tell you, very simple. You don't need to go to university and all that stuff to learn this, okay? Every day, what do we do? You eat, you sleep, <laughs> you play, and consume things from this world and such like that. Think about it. When you don't eat well, you don't sleep well, right? When you're starving, you cannot sleep well. Now, your mood right here also affects your sleep. When your mood is very crappy, you cannot sleep. Sometimes like that, when you're too nervous, you cannot sleep, right? Now, there's ton of, tons of things that can block you from sleeping and also jamming that cycle that when you're trying to push things to your yun sun. Also, what you're pushing there is what you absorb in this world. So when you are looking, you absorb the light of things, okay? Because it's like when we are watch, watching things, looking at videos and stuff like that, that is the light going into your brain, right? And you absorb the light. Now, when you're hearing, you're absorbing the wind element, which is like the black. This is the white, this is the black, okay? Together. Now, these two things goes to your brain and memory, which is inside your heart. When you look and hear things, they will go into your heart. The nose also take in air, but it's only to help the thing circulate. But these two are very important. So what you see, what you hear, and then what you eat from this world. The three major factors that can affect things uh, going to your yun sun. So if you are like those people who want to deal and like strengthen your yun sun, okay, you need to beware. Don't eat so many McDonald's and Harvey's and all that stuff because the quality of your eating, your lifestyle, what you usually uh, do, see, hear, eat, will matter, okay? So if you're like those people who always just go online and look at useless stuff and, you know, watching uh, jackass and, you know, people just falling from the roof and then laughing off their head like that, okay? You're doing tons of garbage in this world. You are going to not going to like have a lot of good things going to your June sun, okay? What you see, what you absorb, is basically what's going to the yun sun later on to create a pattern, energy pattern, and that's what the life on the yun sun is going to be. Now, the hearing, what you hear, if you're around a bunch of friends who always, you know, gossip about people, talk behind their back, and basically they have a lot of bad things right hearing, right here. Basically what happened is these things go into your ear, go to your memory, and they show up to your yun sun. Now your yun sun is going to have a lot of force pushing things to destruction and, and not good, right? So basically a lot of things is not good, not, not going good. Now what you eat, it's very important. Now you have to eat uh, uh, with a nice schedule, like disciplined kind of eating and also eating good food. Now one thing that people don't understand is if you are, um, especially those people who are eat by, living by yourself or with uh, one or two people, remember, cook at home. Because when you cook at home, like, um, uh, for example, you are the, the, the main person who cook at home, right? Now, you are using your hand to touch everything, all right? Put it into your cook and serve. What you're eating is not just the food. You're eating the energy of yourself, which is the hand, touching all these things. And then 
it mixed with the energy around the house, like the air of the house, all the energy, the unseen energy inside here. And then it mixed with the dish of food. When you eat, you don't only eat the food itself, you eat the energy. Now think about it. The same dish of food, right? Eating at home, eating in a restaurant, eating in the uh, back staircase, it's a different feeling. You can take all these things that eat outside in the dark, it's a different feeling because you're not only eating the food. You're eating the food with, with your mouth, but at the same time, your eyes and ears are both eating. Your whole body is eating, eating the energy of it and being affected by it. And that is why having the food in a proper place, eating it nicely, happily, makes the whole meal more enjoyable. And enjoyable means that your mind, your heart right here, is receiving better energy and that's why you feel happy right if you are in a very crappy environment uh cramped up dirty smelly now you don't you don't get happy even if it's the same dish of food and because of that your heart right here is going to go like like that and it's all tense up so your this thing is not absorbing anything it doesn't like it so you might be physically consuming, but this thing doesn't like it. That means that you're going to starve your yun sun later on when you sleep because you don't have much things going over there. So enjoying life, knowing how to make life better and then like making your meal and stuff better is actually a great idea because it improves the stuff that you'll be shoving to your own headquarter. Like this is where your resources come from, right? So you want that to be better, you've got to make this life better. Now, being like going on vegan, uh, not eating this, not eating that, and you know, restricting yourself all the time with the eating and going on weird diets and you know, weird sleeping schedule, only eating raw food. These things are going to kill your life because these things are not going to give that Junsan a great balance. Now, imagine what happened. Let's say you're on vegan, okay? Now, you're not eating meat as what vegan is supposed to be, okay? Not eating any meat. Now what happens when a planet does not have animals but only veggies and trees and plants coming up, okay? All the greens that people like, okay? What happened? Well, what happened is the trees, the plants, the greens, what they do in nature is to suck uh, the water and nutrition from underground and suck it back up and they grow, right? And they also suck the light and stuff from above to grow. Now these things, if you have too much but you don't have animals, what happens is your planet, the inside of the planet is like, imagine a, a planet is like a ball, okay? Now inside the ball, there's tons of liquid. When you have so much plants always sucking up the liquid, your planet is going to get very dry and rocky, right? But there's no other animals to eat and move and do all that stuff. What happened is like, okay, you have tons of veggie, right? They, they suck your planet up dry. And so your planet is going to have less and less and less growth later on. Because basically you see there's no workers there to process these things for a nice circulation. Now in this world, you can look at how wildlife works, right? Not only human being, even look at the bears and stuff in the forest. They will eat other, uh, other animals. Uh, they will eat plants. They will eat everything. When animals eat up the plants and all that stuff in the forest and things like that, they poop here and here and they carry things from this place to that place. Animals are the processor of the ground. They are like that, okay? This is what animals do, not the same as what human does. Animals process things in this, this ground and they bring things around. And even with birds, they, they take and go other place and drop, they tick and go drop. Right? Basically, that's what happened with animal. That, that's a job, nature, uh, natural job of animal. Animal process the stuff. And because of that, the forest will blossom again the next year because they have the proper nutritious stuff inside the ground. And animals go and play around and move around the stuff. And basically, that's how they mix the soil and things. And, you know, everything just can cycle, right? Because of that. Now, there are sometimes you can look at the news and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes, you know, you know, there are like a bunch of bears not going there anymore and not eating the salmon there and stuff like that. And basically what happened is next year, the forest will not have enough growth. It will be going downhill because the cycle is broken. 
So if your Yun Sun, take a look at your spiritual planet, okay? If your Yun Sun is, is like that, okay? No animals, only veggie. It's not going to be alive for a long time because basically what happened is you don't have these processor and you only have plants coming up, sucking up the stuff. Basically the plant will die too because there's no more uh, ingredients for them to stay alive. So your Yun Sun become very crappy. <laughs> Okay, now imagine you only eat meat but no veggie. Then it's like a lot of animals but not many plants. Now at this point of moment, you can see the animals are going to starve and they'll kill each other and basically it will lead to another kind of disaster. So in short, eating a balanced diet, nice discipline, uh, living style, a balanced living style is the key to have a healthy life physically and non-physically okay spiritually so that's basically one little thing you can understand uh, about the yun sun even you say i don't believe in this spiritual whatever thing it's fine just take the fact that you have to have a balanced lifestyle it's healthy for you mentally physically it's healthy for you except for you say uh some people who are sick and they need that kind of diet okay well sure because you're sick right you're already in balance so you need to adjust but for a normal human being you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to have a nice healthy balance okay and remember don't only intake you also need to output meaning that you eat and you need to do work to, to use up the the, the the fuel inside that you consume so after we eat we do things we uh, output the energy inside our body to get stronger because you output more the cycle is like okay i intake i output i intake i output because of that the more you do it the stronger the bigger you get and the more uh the more tough your body and your mental uh body gets and that's how you get stronger now this thing extends to talus magic we can uh cultivate our altar as like this is our uh, bank so every day we also put stuff in there and then cultivate it and we later we can use it and with this thing you can also cultivate all kinds of energy and then at the end of the year we send off the energy they will go to your yun sun so basically having an altar is a way uh, to save up stuff every day and then at the end of the year we send the package to the yun sun uh, of yourself the spiritual planet body and so uh, the altar is yours, right? Maybe you and the family share it. So the whole family will get a portion of that energy and it will replenish to their uh, source of life, that Yun Sun, the spiritual planet of body. So because of that, your life get better, healthier and such like that. Now, when your Yun Sun is very rich and very nice, blossom, uh, powerful, all that stuff, okay? Does it mean that you get rich, like mega rich here? Uh, super good life well, it, it's not going to be like that okay it, the yun sun take care of your life okay it does not make you rich and like billionaires and that kind of stuff but at least when your yun sun is strong it means that your your life force is very uh good condition okay and it's very nice and strong connected to you flowing well and things like that so um you're ensured that you won't be like dying in a very horrible way okay you'll be ensured that your life is more stable and your mind right here that battery is more charged up and you're more efficient and with all these things you right here can do more can can be more efficient right like me i can create more videos every day that will make more money for me okay uh, make my day happier when i see my success then i will be happy it doesn't mean that next day I have $2 million and I'll be happy, right? I would feel like kind of weird if I have $2 million tomorrow. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, okay, you have money. Then what, right? Then then what? <laughs> you need money for what? <laughs> but when you, when you can get your life to be very meaningful, then it makes your life more happy. Basically, that is pretty good, right? So... The whole thing about Talism is to make your life better, not as in like getting you super rich, but at least getting this main thing about life, okay, more stable, more settled, in control. And most importantly, you can see, we human beings living in this world or any animals, we get sick by just going outside because there's germs, virus, and things, contamination, all that stuff going on in the air. You don't even need to see it, right? You go to school go to work someone coughs you get sick you don't know why you don't need to see it right it's just because they touched it before now you get sick invisible contamination 
Now with this heart energy, there are tons of bastard in this society who will be jealous, uh, who will be cursing you, who will be disliking you, who some trolls and stuff like that, okay? Not only physically, but they will be doing it with energy method. Like cursing, doing prayers for you to hope you will die. They will be doing evil magic, uh, finding a psychic, hire someone to do revenge magic on you. Tons of stuff like that going on every day. Even in the school, every day there are people doing these things. Like even they can be like doing a prayer, okay? Now the prayer is supposed to be like very positive, but they just use it to curse their friend. It's very common, okay? It's very common. And what happened is, okay, all these energy work going around, no matter the religion is real or fake, the, these are brewed up by their own heart energy, their intention, and they will have a certain amount of influence, even you don't give a shit. So these things <laughs> vibrate through the air, and it doesn't take even one second to get contaminated with, by these things. So if you are working in somewhere with these people, which most likely you will, and you cannot control or block off these things, all your action, your speech, your whole life is being um, like the, uh, the, the, the responsive side. It's like you're being affected by people and then you act, okay? As a talent, we say no to that. We will know what is ourself, what is the, the, the me inside here without all these energy pollution. What is the real me thinking? It might be something like, okay, the real me now is very sad. Okay, well, oh well. But when I'm being affected, okay, there I'm supposed to be sad, but somehow I'm so high right now. I don't know why. There can be things like that happening, right? Now, the real me is very happy, but with all these energy going on, I feel like crap. Why? Because I'm affected. When you can use magic, talent magic, to clean up all these things, you can understand what is the real you. Sometimes it's very scary. You might be like, you just broke up with your boyfriend and the boyfriend is like an asshole, right? You don't like the boyfriend. But all of a sudden, inside your mind, tomorrow you start to think, should I call him back? Should I call him back? Should I call him back? You don't know why. The problem is why, 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 why? You don't know why you're calling him back because you're being cursed. You're being fucked by evil magic daily, 24 seven by this asshole and you don't realize it and you think that is you? Well, you can do talus magic. You can find out because you cut the thing off, you do something and basically the, the this thing reduce or it's just gone and basically you know you're being screwed. And it's time to fight back, bomb the guy back, you know, backfire and put that horrible life back to him. That's how magic works. Sometimes people will do magic to screw up people. Sometimes evil magic can kill people because it's just like killing people with mind energy. It, it can happen when it goes so strong People can suicide and because they just feel so hopeless all of a sudden and it's not them. How scary is that? All these things, when you don't know how to clean it up, they built up. And that is why the, the old people, when they built up like so many years of these energy pollution, they, they snowball up. And then at a certain point, they kaboom, they suicide, they go crazy. And then some people will like go in the weird state because they have not cleaned everything every day. It's like daily hygiene. You don't clean up, later your teeth fall off, your skin gets all kinds of disease because you don't clean up yourself daily. Energy cleaning, that is very important. So today we learned about what is the Yun Sun and why we should care. Because the Yun Sun is the source of life. If the you right here get contaminated by all these bad energies, they will go to the Yun Sun and they will make the animals, the plant, the people in your living planet, your Yun Sun go crazy. When your Yun San go crazy, you will be in big trouble because you will eat the shit that coming to you from the Yun San. And then tomorrow you will act so weird, you'll be sleeping and you'll be feeling so uh, not energetic when you wake up and you feel so grumpy, so hopeless, everything is bad, everything is great. It's just because that stuff you get from the planet is not good. So in order to fix that up, Practice, cultivate, talism, and talism magic for real, which can let you at least deal with the stuff right here first and control uh, what you're shoving to the Yun Sun. And also, because of your daily um, 
a cultivation of the altar, right? Every end of the uh, the year, you got a bonus package for your Yun Sun to replenish and make up for what is not enough. And basically, that's how you can make the life force up there better. Okay, so um, if you are interested in learning Talism and Talism Magic, you can go to our website and also email us to get ordained and start learning. Basically, we teach things uh, and accept disciples online, so you can do all things by distance. It's, you don't need to visit a temple, whatever, okay? But, you know, if you are learning Talism, uh, uh, maybe from someone or somewhere, okay? If this source that you're learning from, don't talk about the Yun Sun. This is not Talism. Because the whole thing about Talism is not about like some god or deity is trying to save the ass of you, okay? The whole thing about Talism is about digging into what is life and understanding how the cycle of life works, which is the you here and the other side of you. So just like I said, here you are a living being with a bunch of other living beings inside a planet. And other side, you are a spiritual planet with tons of beings inside you. Totally 100% black, white, black, white, opposite. Totally two different parts. And that completes the real you. That is the you, okay? And also, we call this as a soul chan, cultivating and realizing the uh, real self. Why? What is the real self? The real self is the real you right here, this heart energy right here, without the pollution and all that crap, right? That's you. The you can be ugly, but at least it's not affected. Like you're 100% the you, okay? But just understanding what is you is not enough. Because sometimes, you know, like the inside here is not good too. You need to also polish it, make it better, increase more knowledge, etc. Right? But at least you know every day you are yourself and not you plus John, Mary, and whatever, all that people. Every Everyone have part here influencing everything you say, right? At least when I'm speaking now, I know I'm myself. I will not regret for anything that I do, I speak, anything that I create in this world because I know it's me. Right? If I don't like it, well, I'll do it again. But I won't regret because I know I'm not being screwed up. Okay, so basically that's the lecture for today. And I hope you understand more about what is real Talism and this Yun Sun and all that stuff. Um, we also have a blog and a few blog posts on our website talking about some more details on this Yun Sun topic too. So um, check out our blog and remember to share, subscribe, like, etc. And if you want to learn, you can email us to get started. See you next time. Bye-bye.